Hey, it's Coach Nick Simonello. I'm here live and in color from Loyola University in Maryland. We're here at the Strength Conditioning Conference. I'm here with uh, Dr. Jose Antonio. I appreciate hey, your time thanks, here. Thanks. Uh, I just got out of his amazing lecture all on sports supplementation for athletes, and uh, you have some tips for us. Yeah, I think there's um, there's five simple things that all athletes can do, whether they're a uh, performance athlete or physique athletes. And uh, some of these are supplement tips, others are just sort of general nutrition tips. Number one, I believe in doing really simple things first. Everyone should consume a, a protein shake or a protein carbohydrate, carbohydrate shake post-workout. So let's say you're a football player, a volleyball player. After you're done training, go for that protein shake. Yeah. If you're someone who needs to look pretty, like a bodybuilder or physique athlete, have the protein shake but with no carbs. So that's number one. Do you have any sort of ratios or carbs to protein, mm. protein to carbs or anything? You know, I know there are ratios out there, but I think the most important issue is one of timing. As long as you get something in immediately afterwards, I think you're good to go. And don't worry about the ratio. Okay, great. Uh, number two, every strength power athlete should consume creatine in roughly a five gram per dose day. Uh, that's shown to be effective in terms of increasing lean body mass, performance, muscular strength, muscular power, a whole slew of things. Um, number three, in a sport like um, uh, football or fighting or wrestling where you produce a lot of lactate or, or pH drops in muscle, beta only is a great supplement. In fact, a dose of roughly 3 to 6 grams a day for 28 days will increase intramuscular carnosine. And what does carnosine do? You're in lecture. Buffer. Right, it's a buffer, just like a baking soda. So, beta alanine. Uh, is that number three or four? I think that's number three. 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 Oh, yeah. Number four. Um, are you a sun worshiper? Uh, I, I wish I, I could am. be, but I live in Baltimore, so we only get it a few months out of the year. Yeah, you can't really worship the sun here, although it is really hot. Um, full body sun exposure or, if you can't get enough sun, uh, vitamin D supplementation, uh, roughly 2,000 to 4,000 international units. I think that actually goes a long way in just improving general health and performance. And the last thing I think everyone should do, it's not technically something for performance, but fish oil. The omega-3 fats are so healthy and so good for you that I think everyone either should eat raw fish, if you like sushi, I love sushi, or sashimi, actually, um, or take uh, fish oil, uh, roughly two grams per day of EPA and DHA. Uh, and that's really it. That's sort of the simple basic stuff, and I think if you want to get more advanced, there's a whole lot of other stuff to do. But, we were to pick just one strategy out of all of those, consuming something post-workout is probably the single easiest, most effective strategy that all athletes can do. That's great stuff. Would you mind telling folks who maybe don't know who you are, who you are and your background and why they actually should listen to what you just told them? And <laughs> Good question. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jose Antonio. Um, you can get more information from me at the International Society of Sports Nutrition website. That's www.thehessn.org, O-R-G. And my background is in sports nutrition. I do a lot of research. Uh, I've done quite a bit of writing, written 12 books on the category. Only 12. Written gobs of articles, and um, I'm a fun worshiper, as you can see. So. Great stuff, man. I really appreciate hey. your time. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it.